Christmas tree. Um, it's me. Well, keep in mind they're aliens. It may be for another reason that they have this weird tree out here. Okay, so. Um, I have a few credits. Maybe not enough to buy some mobility boosts. Let's see. The mobility boosts you can buy from uh, this guy up here. Servant Corp. Mobility boost. I can't even buy one. Um, I have they no need eight, no eight thousand credits. So let's see. What can I sell that we have on us? I got a lot of food stuff. It's gonna go bad. You, got, you don't have any ammo or anything in your eagle. Per yeah, I do. Not even extra ammo. Uh, I'm not seeing any when I look in your in your box. It's completely empty. Um. Oh wow, he has the large optomic bridges and optomic matrices right off the bat. Yeah, that guy. That guy always sells those. For um, 168000 or 275000 All right, I'm going to head back to the teleport station near our base and see what extra weapons I can bring back up. You just warped out? You teleported. You teleported. And that's why I'm glad you can take your bike with you when you teleport. <laughs> so I can just bike over to the command center, then back to the teleport station and teleport back to, uh, back to the orbital train station. Well, this guy will buy EVA boost for just over 5,000, 5,472. But we need the EVA boost. Um, next attack is in less than two days, by the way. Oh. I could sell my drill for... No, don't worry okay. about it. I've got multi-tools, I've got snipers, I've got assault rifles, shotguns, pistols. Who buys what? Uh, there's a tier 2 rocket launcher. Tier two projector projectile weapon. He'll buy it for five thousand four twenty three. But just that. Same with this guy. A little bit cheaper though. The guy in the conference room buys high level weapons. He's also the guy you're gonna want to end up selling the. We're gonna end up selling the mobility boost to. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. You're back? Yep. I heard that sound of like you're picking up your bike or something. Where is the teleport? I mean, even... I thought I saw it. It's not, the, right, it's not on the top floor, is it? Say what? Where is the teleport? It's not on the top floor, is it? Middle floor. 
Oh, here. Okay. Asfi. Couple of miniguns to sell. Um. I don't think he does tier two assault rifles, unfortunately. Um. We don't need this tier two rocket launcher, unless you want to keep it. Nah. There's ammo for it though. Oh well, no, no, there isn't ammo. Not for the tier two, just for the regular one. Okay. So, I've got enough now to buy a few mobility boosts. Cool. We can just back so, and forth. So, this guy up here at Servant Corp will sell mobility boosts. He's got four right now. But I can only buy three. And then I can come back down here to this guy in the conference room. And right now he will buy four. So I can sell the three that I have here, go buy the last one. Mm -hmm, and then come back and sell it. And then come back and sell it. I don't know if they're ever going to get rid of that little... Is it even an exploit? It's a feature. <laughs> it, it's an unintended feature. <laughs> um, I think that eventually they will uh, get it so that in different locations, different things buy and sell for different amounts. Like between Polaris, like certain planets and such, I don't know. But that would make sense to actually, uh, in, like, inspire you or, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, encourage in you. Encourage you to uh, go to one planet, buy things, fly to another planet, sell them. and Or then, an, an entirely different system, probably, to make it worthwhile. Yeah. Um, I like what they do in... I forget what game it was. It reminds but it's me of like Trade the Wars further, myself. The further away you go from where you bought something, the more you can sell it for. GTA does that. GTA Online. Certain things. Like, when you want to export and sell stuff, you have two options. Either sell it oh, locally yeah. for cheaper, or go across, the, go across the state and sell it for more. Right. Okay. So the guy up at the top that sells, where is he? Over here. Now, the, the <laughs> thing is, <laughs> this guy over here, yes, he does sell the bridges and such, but it's usually more expensive than the other stores that you can do it. Yeah. Uh, so the optronic bridges, I could buy one small optronic bridge right now. We're going to want a total of four to upgrade your ship. Um, because the, and what you can do uh, is take out the second, you can take out the second cockpit and put it up there. Maybe. Well, no, I know, I know right where to put it. Okay. Um, probably what I, probably what I'll end up doing is like, like I just, actually pulling your thing out and throwing it in there because that's what the thing is you know that's what the tier two is is upgrading it with shields and the the okay thing so i'm disconnected I'm waiting for it to reconnect i'm telling the trading station um on the planet just to see what they uh how much they will sell them Oh, yay. Okay, there. I'm back, apparently. It disconnected me and but came back. Now, the guy down on here that did the small... Was it Bertram's? Yes. Uh, he will actually 
sell them for cheaper, 65,000. That's actually a good price. I'm gonna go ahead and buy one of the small optronic bridges. Now, if you wanted, we could actually try to go to the different planets and hit their That's trading exactly stations. Exactly what I was too. just thinking. I was just looking at the map to see what, what was there. Um, do you want to go back to the planet and grab the shuttle and put a warp drive on it? Well, actually, no. We'd have to on the upgrade IPEX? it to do that. The IPEX? Yeah, we'd have to we'd have to upgrade the IPEX to do that. Um, so we might as well just use your shuttle. Could we um, your yeah. your your eagle? Could we use it without having to upgrade it and just run it inefficiently? Or for her warp? I mean, your your thing has warp already, so okay, yeah. I don't really see any gold on the other planets, actually. Um, the only planets that really have gold ore are I. Uh, well, this uh, pure, pure yoga, the barren metal planet has gold. No, that's, oh, it does. I thought it was sapphire. And the moons don't really seem to have, I think the moon one has gold. Or no. <sighs> Oh, we'll find out. Okay. All right. Um, <sighs> do you want to just use your your yeah eagle? Probably should have left it running. Hold on. Let me turn mine off. Uh, we have any pentaxes in the tank? No. And yeah, just fly back to the planet. Well, let's both just fly back to the planet and All then right. we'll figure out what... Yeah, from now on, we need to leave our ships running on that station because, uh, coal. <sighs> I didn't bring any coffee. Nope. Yeah, all that meat I had just spoiled. I just drank two things of coffee, but, uh... <laughs> It'll last barely a minute, though. I don't know if it stacks. Oh, it stacks, but it, it just like eating a whole bunch of the cooked meat stacks, and I have cooked stacks of cooked meat in my uh, in my output, so I'm all right. <laughs> yeah, I'm hypo hypo. Oh, now I'm freezing. I should be okay. My health is fine. So it's that. Oh, now I'm low food. Oh no. Um, I've got food on. No, me. I have food on. Well, me. I was at yeah. food. Because I, I had cooked up grilled steaks, so... I always keep uh, the Scooby Snacks in my output in my shoot constructor. Oh, okay. I am going to cook up some more food right here. Yeah. I just have it in reserve just to get me out of starvation so I can get to where I'm going. <sighs> oh, we should have a shower, isn't it? Yeah, it's in the uh, barracks. That'll warm me up. You warm up by taking a shower. I warm up by eating a whole bunch of steak. <laughs> uh. 
All right, we've got a good amount of Pentaxa here. Yep. Just have to refine it. Though. So I'm. That's what I'm doing right now. Um, if we can find the guy who sells or who buys multi-tools and shotguns and all this other stuff, we'll be golden. Um... I don't think there's anything else worth selling. All right, let's see. Um, well, first, let me see what it would take to upgrade the warp drive on the uh, IPEX because that that would be a better option. Mm -hmm. Well, could you pull the the the, uh, the the upgrades from 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 the Eagle to the IPEX? Well, the Eagle's not currently upgraded. I know, um, but could you just pull right. the, the CPU upgrade blocks? The Eagle's not upgraded. Oh. So, yeah. I thought it had the some e already. The Eagle's a tier two. It needs to be a tier three. Oh, I get it now. Okay. Um, so, 13090, and if I were to add a warp drive to the IPEX, let's see, the small vessel warp drive is 3,000. That would make it... Yeah, sixteen thousand, which is way, which is more than the uh, thing. Um, we might want to go. Uh, do you already mine both of the gold deposits on the planet? It looks like you did. Yes, and there wasn't that very much. We we might want to try to go to uh, who you wrote the barren metal planet. Yes. because it's uh, got gold on it. Um, fortunately, it's not the one with super gravity. That is the uh, nascent volcanic planet. <laughs> oh, that's good. Okay. Um, it does have anti-aircraft anti turrets. So... Uh, but if we're in your ship, it won't matter as much. Hold on. Theoretically, it's possible for me to put a warp drive on my on my Falcon. Let's see what we have that would take. as much up in Texas to do it, though. Yeah, but we could go to different planets at the same time. Oh. Yeah, I could put a warp drive on my Falcon and it would be fine. Not sure where I would put the fuel tank, though. Um, I'd ha I'll have to look at the eagle and see where the fuel tank is on the eagle. But it's out here. All right, let's see. All right, it's on the right side near the back. Okay, look in this container. It's stuff for you. Oh, you left. Hold on. Is 
Xerox attack less than two days. Okay. So when we leave and come back, they'll probably be on. I could put it there, but it wouldn't be very... Yeah, look at all that pentaxin. Tinder. Okay, um, I know why yours fits there, because you expanded the top. I didn't do anything. No, I'm talking about you, your ship's top is expanded more than. Okay, so. What I would do is I would put it there. in my ship and left and, and lift it up and just let so it'll stay oh efficiency's dropped it's it's complaining oh it's falling yeah it, it does that It won't stay up either. All right, go ahead and land it real quick. You might need another generator or something, or... What was it complaining about? I don't remember. No, it should be fine. I'm making a Pentaxa tank and, uh... And warp drive for it. Good, nice parking. So now I can access back here just fine. And then this area over here is where the shield generator is supposed to go. Yeah.
There we go. It has a little belly. There, so now I've got a detector and such on mine as well. Um, are you able to, uh, I uh, build the repair console Oh, yeah. Now? Let's see if I can make it. Evan. I'm going to go ahead and park because once we get the repair console online, I'm going to have to call it a day. Okay. I mean, it's been almost four hours, so. Yeah, we started early. Okay, it's building. I can also do a tier one repair bay. We've already got a tier two. I know. I don't know where it is, though. Is it's it over here. It's over here. Where all of the uh, extra parts go. Yes. It's in Grab my... It. Put it in. My thing now. But. This one's still building. All right. Let me do this. Command center out... Uh, Falcon Pentaxid tank. Do you have Pentaxid in yours? E Actually, I was about to do that. It's yeah, I did. I put it in there. I put about half of what you made. I put it in there. Okay. Awesome. So we each have half of the yes. stuff, which is something like uh, oh, my ship's up there. 67 altogether. Yeah. 50 something. Sixty-seven, yeah. All right, I'm gonna go put this on the uh, platform back here. Oh, I thought you were gonna put it in here. No, I gotta put it back here so that we can repair the capital vessel too. Crap, because I popped a hole into it. Well, you shouldn't have done that. And because it's public, I didn't get the block. We should have extra concrete. Yep. Oh. And... All right, we have a repair bay. So now, even uh, once we get a capital vessel, we can, when we spawn it in here, we can land it here and just repair the whole thing back to its, you know, to, to the saved template. And then if Where's we the need to inside, yeah, consoles inside the base. And then if we need to, uh, to with a with the small vessels or hover vessels, we can do it here too. Or we can uh, uh, once we get a tier two repair bay added to the capital vessel, we can have the capital vessel parked here, have it repaired by this, and then repair the HVs and SVs on the uh, CV. Uh, on the CV. Sounds good. And then we can start looking for the stuff to build the Leviathan and the uh, small uh, what did I call it? The And the Leviathan will fit on that? No, we have to build the small shipyard to get the Leviathan. Okay. But I guess that's going to be it for these episodes. I hope everybody enjoyed the episodes. And uh, I uh, want to know what you guys think about what we're doing. Just moving everything over to a new planet uh, to start over. A new game, because, actually. Well, 
yeah, it's a whole new game because we had to start over and doing this is a way to start over and not start over, if you know what I mean. So yeah. uh, leave a comment in our comment sections down below. Let us know what you think. And uh, if you want to see more Imperion Galactic Survival Alpha 12 Experimental, go ahead and subscribe to Fragalot and Know It All DM. I'm Know It All DM. And I'm Fragalot. And as always, y'all have a good day now. <laughs> <laughs>